Hello, hello everyone. This is a very interesting start to the vlog if you ask me. <laughs> I'm currently doing a face mask because I'm going for an event. It's called Kiwi. It's very, it's very nice. Let me tell you. The last time I went for Kiwi, it was like Healing Sounds by Karoon. And then I got a tattoo and it was just very vibey, very artsy, very fun. And I'm going for the second one. The theme is Roses Are Red, which is I don't have red things. I have like one one red thing. So I'm probably going to struggle with the theme a bit, but we'll see. Um yeah, I'm doing a face mask. This is the uncover vitamin C one to just brighten up my skin a bit before I do my makeup. I'm kind of going for a euphoria look also because I want to do this euphoria themed video. You know the one that you've been seeing around the the one for why are you not in uniform? Blah blah and to do that for Instagram. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I also wanted to get ready with you guys, give you guys a little bit of a life update and also film like a vlog. So I want it to all be in one. We'll see how that goes. I don't even know what this vlog is gonna be called, but yeah, stick around guys, stick around. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. I'm very high energy, started the day listening to like high energy music and I'm just very excited. <laughs> I'm excited, as you can tell. So yeah, I'll see you guys when this is done. Uh, well, masks don't really fit my face. But I'll see you guys when this is done. Let me just continue using the jade roller, which I had was not actually used for this purpose. But, you know, okay. Um, I'll see you guys when I'm getting ready to actually go or to actually leave. I'll just see you guys the next part of me getting ready. Hi guys. So, I'm not ready yet. I just um, did my skincare, put moisturizer, everything. And put my wig on because I'm recording the thing I was telling you, the euphoria thing. My little setup is like... The ring light facing towards the door and then my phone here on a tripod and yeah this is not going to take long really it's going to take like 10 minutes and then i'm gonna be done but it's like a transformation one so i'm gonna go from before to after and i'm excited and yeah i'm going to now get ready and i think now is when i should do the whole life update thing so let's see how that goes because i also don't want to move my phone for my tripod for the sake of continuity so let me see what i come up with i might place you guys over there on my bed and just do my makeup over there and place my mirror so yeah hello 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 <laughs> i finally just set up you guys on my bed and this is a very dangerous setup so i hope everything goes well but yeah i think i'm about to start doing my face i'm going for a euphoria look as i said so i'm excited to see how that goes as you guys know from years of watching my channel, if you're new here, you don't know, I'm not the best at doing my own makeup, so it's usually a lot of guesswork, you know, um, hopefully this isn't bad because I know how to do my 5 minute makeup routine, but I'm starting with my eyes this time, so I'm just going to give you life updates as I continue to do my eyes and everything. Hopefully this is not a chaotic get ready with me, but I feel like it will definitely be a bit chaotic. Okay, so first things first, um, the life updates from last year, right? So I think the first one is that I started my own business. I feel like I mentioned this in my previous video, but for those of you who don't know, I started my own business, which I'm not sure it was a very good idea to start it in third year because, you know, life's a bit stressful um, with school and trying to finish and everything. So I'm a bit stressed because right now I'm the one who runs it. Um, I get help here and there for answering DMs, but basically I'm the one who runs it and that's why it's a bit stressful. The business idea is something I've been wanting to do for a while, I just didn't know I'd been wanting to do. So the whole idea behind it is a pack of self-love cards, as I said last time, there are 50 cards and they're split into questions, um, affirmations and then implementations, look at me forgetting. So basically they're like cards that ask you questions about yourself and then there are cards that give you affirmations about yourself as well. Very long ones, um, put a lot of effort into that and then implementations like how to implement self-love into your life for like a long period of time. A pack goes for 900 Kenya shillings which is like $9 and yeah and then shipping or delivery is different. We've now expanded to do international shipping but that's through DHL so yeah that's basically the fast life update um the background behind this business is the fact that um i have struggled a lot with my self-love as you've heard in my previous videos and i wanted to put like everything i did to love myself into a card pack and make it something that i resonate with and that's why i started the business called self supply it's called self supply because it's like you can supply love to yourself you don't have to always look for love from outside you know so yes, that's the first life update, guys. 
The other update, if you are not on my Instagram or if you didn't see, is I got a chance to work with such amazing brands like Maybelline and Coca-Cola and I loved it because it was like brands that I already liked or I'd already used before and it was like amazing to actually be considered. Um, the thing is, I was going through a lot of, not imposter syndrome, let me tell you what it was. I don't know if this is imposter syndrome but to me I feel like it's a bit, it's not like imposter syndrome, it's something else. But you know how you, um, it's not like I didn't feel like I deserved it, I was just like, I had not readjusted my vision to where I was now. So it's like I was stuck in the... And I made a video about this. I just don't have the footage. Oh my god, it explained so nicely because I was explaining it as I was going through it. But it's like I had... In my brain, I had left myself in a certain point. And then I grew so fast that when I grew to the point where I was, I hadn't actually absorbed or I hadn't understood that I had grown to that point. So my viewpoint of myself was still what was before the, all the growth. You get me? So when Brad started approaching me, I was like, damn, me? I was like, wow. Like me, like not that I don't deserve it, but like thank you for believing in me. And I was like, how do you find me? You know, all these questions you ask yourself. But at the time also, I was also going through a really, really, a really, really bad burnout. I even got a little bit sick at the time. And it was so bad because like I had so many big brands like depending on on me for good content and i was sick half the time <sighs> and it was stressful um end up i ended up thinking maybe they shouldn't have chosen me you know maybe they shouldn't have picked me and it's like to me now listen you were sick like it was something natural or you were burnt out that's also natural it's just bad that it came at that exact time but i did my best guys i really did my best um what else okay i feel like eyes are done I'm sure you look at me like, eyes are done, what do you mean? <laughs> but like, what I mean is I want to put rhinestones. So I want to put one, two, three, four, five, six on each and then, yeah. I'm going to go off camera for this one because I'm terrible at this. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'll be back. Okay, so that's it for the rhinestones. I've done, I've done a pretty good job, you guys. Like, I use tweezers and I've tried. Usually I do it really, really badly. Now the rest is going to be super, super, super easy. Just like foundation, concealer, and I'm going to be done. Let's see, what other life updates do I have? Let me tell you guys, last year I made so many memories. I made so many new friends. I went through a heart, not a, a breakup. Oh my god, should I cut out that part? Anyway, I went through a breakup. Um, I did a lot of things. The year was very transformational for me. Also, I really discovered who I was during the year. I don't think I fully discovered myself, but like I was like finding out new things about me. And I feel like the more I hang out with different people, the more I discover different parts about me. And the more I discover that I'm very multi everyone is very multifaceted i feel like that's why you can even have like different groups of friends that you all get along with pretty well i took some trips here and there um i had a birthday trip to um watamu let me tell you guys i wanted to go to lamu so bad but the planning was so hectic and i remember i was planning during exam time and this trip was totally like completely planned by me and my mom who helped me with like the menu and everything I like let me tell you what happened I wanted to pay Lamu so bad and I had the money in my account but then Lamu was looking so stressful and everything so one night I was just like you know what I'm gonna pay for the villa in Watamu that I found at like 12 a.m. and I paid for it and I felt like such an adult because I planned everything and then me and my friend Sandra when we reached had to go shopping for everyone for like the food and everything and I had to it was very different like when you take a trip with your parents it's like your parents are the ones who wake up and always tell the chef what to cook and everything but here yeah, I'm the one who like if I didn't tell anyone anything we wouldn't eat like we just have ingredients and no food and everything but yeah so the trip was very fun very again helped me discover a part of me I didn't even know because I'm not a planner like whenever my friends you know that friend who when people are planning like birthdays and everything they're just very silent in the group and they're just waiting for everyone to say for the thing to be like oh everyone send this much that's usually me in the group like other friends will volunteer to, to like plan the menu with the password and i'm like mm, listen i'm that friend who no one even asks <laughs> like no one even asks me like do you want to help plan the menu it's like no i'm just usually told it's this much and i'm like okay thanks um so yeah, that was very fun. The breakup I was telling you about, I was seeing someone for a while and then we broke up because of very different value systems. Yeah, very different. Far apart, far apart. Our value systems were very far apart. And after some months, it like came out very clearly and it just had to end. Um, so um, I 
told myself that I was not gonna see someone who I knew our value systems were different like right off because I did know some value systems were different but I was like hmm we can make it work but then no it was like so it's like wildly different that it couldn't even work and yeah guys I'm gonna I feel like those are all the life updates I made so many memories and I was watching Wendell's vlog and she said those memories were for her honestly for me it was like even for her but also for me it wasn't a choice to keep those memories to myself i would have loved to bring you guys along to 2021 because it was a very wild ride very different i really but also at the same time i feel like me not vlogging made me concentrate on the moment more i would have loved to capture it but it also made me just concentrate in the moment more and try a lot of new things and I really enjoyed 2021 honestly there were so many things that beautiful things that happened and even like the sad things that happened helped me grow I feel like and yeah the world is a very interesting place to live in I feel like <laughs> I'm gonna finish getting ready I'm gonna come show you guys the final look finish recording my little reel for Instagram and I'll see you guys a bit later all right guys so I'm ready I really like my outfit my hair these like sleeves are giving me life i've put some jewelry the rhinestones are there you know i'm looking i like how i look i'm very excited to leave let me show you guys my full outfit and then we can leave um the theme is red i told you guys yeah the theme is red and i only have one red thing but that one red thing is very i guess flirtatious and gives a valentine's vibe i hope so yeah let me show you my full outfit let's leave i'm um, using my ring light that's why it's so bright but yeah let's leave i hope to film a lot at the event or like just enough for the vlog to be very interesting for you guys to see what the event is all about and yeah come along with me i hope you have a great time i'll say we like we're actually going but yeah <laughs> Sunday I think the last time I talked to you guys was at the event and I didn't even talk at the event because the music was so loud there was so much happening um yeah but it's Sunday let me give you guys a bit about like let me talk a bit about the event the event was so wholesome like I painted ended up hitting my painting and leaving it halfway <laughs> I was looking at art there was VR um, it was really nice it was a very wholesome event um yeah i would go again i have another shoot hopefully tomorrow i'm trying to shoot with my friend emilyn 
um but studio space like the studio we want is fully booked so we're trying to find another studio and yeah i'm also planning a valentine's shoot and giveaway for self-supply so and see how that goes i bought flowers oh it's what i was showing you guys let me show you the flowers i got so i got these flowers they're very cute i want to stick them in my hair and do like a shoot so i don't know if that's gonna work but they're very pretty so if it doesn't work i'll just find a way to incorporate it into another shoot and yeah i've also deep cleaned my bedroom today and i'm feeling really nice and productive i want to have a very relaxing sunday self-care journaling here and there as i plan stuff for the whole week and hello everyone <laughs> it is monday and I'm heading over to Knit Studio to shoot with Emilyn and I'm very excited. We have a concept. I feel like we're gonna do streetwear looks and we're shooting for Instagram, a reel and I guess some photos. I'm very excited. I have outfits ready. Um, today's kind of cold, that's why I'm in a fur coat, but also because I've packed so many things and jackets take up so much space. I said to myself, I have to wear one jacket so that it takes less space. I've done my usual makeup. Um, yeah, I'm just about to leave. Um, the thing is, today morning I listened to this podcast on vulnerability and intimacy um, by Anne, Your Brain. I can't say that because I'll be demonetized. No, I won't be demonetized actually. Hmm. Anyway. So the podcast is talking about how vulnerability is actually a fear of your own thoughts because I just found this really interesting. Let me tell you guys this before I leave. So she was saying, essentially, when it's something that you're proud about and you tell someone else, right, you don't feel vulnerable, you don't feel scared, you don't feel fearful because you're so proud about it and you have no insecurities around this thing you're telling someone. So that way you don't feel like you're being vulnerable because it's like, yeah, I like this so I'm gonna tell you and it really doesn't matter what you say because I like it anyway you know what I mean and she was saying so the thing that makes like things you're insecure about vulnerable is because in your head you've already put a certain thought to that thought no how can I say this <laughs> in your head you may be insecure about that thing or you feel like that thing makes you less or it's like something that shows that you're imperfect so you're scared to tell that person not because because what they'll say will almost confirm your fear or will almost confirm your thoughts so if it's something you're insecure about and you tell someone and they're like yeah and you're like damn um just confirm my thoughts that's what you're scared of you're scared of someone to confirm your own thoughts already that's why we're not scared to share things that we're not insecure about and i found that very interesting um so she's saying how like vulnerability makes it easy not easy but it's a way to appear as yourself authentically and I found that very interesting yeah so I thought I'd just share that um, before I leave I'm gonna see you guys at the shoot hopefully I'm gonna vlog a lot um, yeah I'll see you guys